All right, I'm going to be checking out Fortified Zone multiplayer. This game... I kind of always wanted this game. I always, thought, I always thought this game... I didn't have this game growing up, but I thought it looked really cool. Um, so it was like an action game, top-down action game where you play as two characters at the same time. And if you have two players, you Oh, that's cool. You can play. Two people can play the game at the same time. So let's see. I'll have the left person be the guy. So that's cool. It toggles as you select. So both people can't be the same person. So as soon as one person selects, it starts up. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Can jump. Oh, that's cool. So two friends can like go through the fortress together. Oh man. Oh, is she faster? Oh, she is faster. I didn't realize that. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Wait for me. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. So this game is. Uh, I don't know. It, it is an exploration game, but ultimately it's pretty linear. And so I don't know if having two players would actually have that big of a, like, I don't think it would have a big benefit gameplay wise. I mean, you'd be able to shoot twice as many bullets at once, which is nice, but like, I don't know if it makes a big difference in regards to being able to like beat the game, make it easier to beat the game. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. These are the walls you can shoot over. But ultimately, I don't know. You know, I grew up on the NES with Contra, and I just think it's so much fun having a another player, a friend, to uh, play along with you, even if they ultimately don't help that much. It's just cool being in the action together. I think this is really cool. I think this is kind of unique for the Game Boy games. I don't know if too many Game Boy games, like Contra for Game Boy, or Operation C doesn't have two-player like this. There's not too many uh, two-player action games. That's really cool.